light line, small baits finesse is one way to make the fish bite, okay? That's one. The other one, our manly men with the beards, you can keep your power rod, is to make those fish bite. <laughs> gonna make them bite. I'm gonna make those fish bite whether they like it or not. They're gonna bite. <laughs> AKA Big Jig, AKA Flippin', AKA Rip Bait, AKA Crank Bait, AKA Rattle Trap. And you know how I'm gonna make them bite? You know how I'm gonna make them bite? Next slide, Rizzo. You know how I'm gonna make them bite? Speed! I'm going to force those fish to bite by speed, by rate of fall, okay? Oh boy, I love doing this one. Look at that. Did you see what just happened? I chucked that big old water bottle right at Rizzo's head, and he caught it because Dude, he's whack. He, he, they don't want it to hit him in the head, for crying out loud. That's what you're going to do with these baits, okay? So, here it goes. Million boats, 200 dudes around you. Light line. Little finesse bait, a.k.a. drop shot, a.k.a. four-inch wacky rig, a.k.a. Ned rig, a.k.a. the magic minnow. Somebody asked me about that thing after the in, the, in the round table, okay? AKA Magic Minna. Or make them bite. And I like that one, man. I like that one. Using lures that are moving so fast or falling so fast that the fish have to do that. And you're gonna catch them. 200 boats around you. Let me give you the best, you wanna hear the best example ever? I mentioned it earlier, I went to Japan with a really good, my good friend, Marizo Shimizu, about eight years ago now, give, give or take. And the last two days of my nine day trip, I went to a lake that I dreamt about going to since I was young, Lake Biowa. And the first day I tried to do what I saw the other 400 boats around me, I'm not kidding you, Dude, Japan's crazy. I mean, they're in dinghies to Biggie Smalls yachts and everything in between, and they're all bass fishing. I asked Marizo, what are all these, what are they all fishing for? They're all bass fishing. What the, there's, uh, there's so many people, it's so crazy. And the first day I got out there and I watched everybody, everybody's got a spinning rod, and back then it was Nico rig, was a big thing, Nico rigging. And they're all, I'm watching, and they make these long casts behind the boat, and they're just, this is what you see. You see a crowd, a sea of 400 people from Hobie kayaks to Biggie Small Shots, and they're all like this. One way to catch them, getting small, little. I caught some, I had, I had an okay day. Next day, I started out doing that, and then I got frustrated. And I'm out at Biwa, and I'm fishing grass. It's not even matted. It's not even matted. I can see the dark patches. It's like 8 to 12 foot grass. It's not matted. Tie me on a one ounce tungsten weight. Tie me on a three out flipping hook. And I tie me on a little Havoc bait they don't make anymore. It's a beaver style bait. And I get to punch him. Whew. Crystal clear water. I don't need, I don't need a one ounce weight. It's not even thick grass, but I want that thing falling. I want that thing like that water bottle. Before I know it, it's falling super fast. I see the line. Eight pounder, very next cast, seven and three quarter, back to back. I'm freaking out. I've never had more, I've never had 400 boats come in that quick on me in my life. <laughs> It was unbelievable, and I loved it. I was bowing, height, 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 everybody, height, 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 height. I didn't even know, just bowing at everybody. 
But I made that fish bite through speed, through rate of fall. 